my name is Johannes Dube. Um, I'm the second deputy president of SIPAO, uh, uh, being elected last year uh, in August at the Congress of SIPAO that was held there in East London. So I'm very proud to uh, occupy this position and also uh, appreciate the fact that uh, the comrade have bestowed uh, uh, this position for me. It means they've got the trust and confidence in me, uh, taking the fact that uh, I'm a blind person. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, I should think in the federation or in the affiliates of uh, 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 COSATU, I'm um, one person uh, with a disability of myself uh, uh, being given this opportunity to be an, 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 a president, I would say, uh, for the first time in the federation who cannot see you see so hence i'm saying uh, for me it it's really i, I really appreciate that that com comrades can have this confidence in me so about sibau i think uh, about this event uh, it's 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 a it's a, it's a, it's a it's a direction uh, that we are actually taking as leadership here to make sure that uh, all the comrades, uh, shop steward, uh, get training. I will, I've been listening to the treasurer when we were actually uh, interviewing him. He actually mentioned that, I mean, comrades were very hungry for this uh, kind of training that it should take place. I mean, it's a number of years. You can date back as uh, the late 90s where such trainings were not uh, uh, there in the what you call in the organization but uh, as the leadership uh, elected we are actually taking that responsibility to ensure that uh, the comrades say, are well uh, trained and well equipped even myself I remember when I was for the first time I was elected a shop steward uh, my organizer used to say to me, you see, if you are a shop steward, you, you must be sharp uh, politically and otherwise. So it means uh, this training, it's sharpening us as shop steward so that if we go there and uh, 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 challenge employees, you are sharpened in a way that uh, we, 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 we don't waffle in front of the employees but we've got facts we know the laws and so forth i think that one it it's very important so hence i'm saying i pride myself to be in this leadership that has uh, gone to an extent of uh, bringing such a training today uh, i think here you see for instance, my, if, if I can talk, I think I can talk about myself. I'm, I think on that note, that one will actually go down to whoever is going to be listening to this interview. You see, I was not born blind. I was uh, shot at uh, during the Soweto uh, unrests in 1976. But what happened is that I was... Uh, told that I can't see anymore and I had to go undergo a, a rehabilitation but I think one thing that we you should do and if you are you you get to have a disability you have to accept that that disability is there then when you accept that then you're going to live a life under that disability and you won't have pro problems because you won't be in denial and that will make you to be uh, concentrating now in your life going forward. And it, it is easy for a person now to embark on other things. 
and to treat yourself as an ordinary person that in each and every uh, 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 life or that is led by anyone you can also feature there you don't have to you might pull yourself uh, down to say because I've got this disability and therefore I cannot do ABC. I think hence I'm saying to you it is imperative that uh, you have to accept and say that okay I've got this disability but the disability does not preclude me to actually participate in every spheres of life. Thank you very much. Okay.